Welcome to Autumn Approved, a channel where we review all things that make parenting easier and also to see if my daughter Autumn approves. Automobiles. On this episode, we will take a look at some affordable compact strollers that rival the beloved Uppa Baby menu. The Larktail Autofold and the Bombi BB Stroller. These two compact strollers are similarly sized as the menu, so they may not fit in some overhead bins if that's what you're looking for. The Larktail Autofold retails for $299.99, but can be even more affordable with a discount code. See the description box down below. The Bombi BB Stroller retails for $199.99 and is made from recycled materials. First, let's take a look at the basket. Here I have my Jujubee Zealous Diaper Backpack, which is one of the larger backpacks out there. It is fully loaded for a day out. Here is how it looks in the menu. There's not much space left with the backpack inside, and you can see how I struggled to pull it out. In the Bombi, it is much easier to get the backpack into the basket and there's still space above it for jackets or even a small purse along with it. It's also easy to just pull the backpack right out when needed. The Larktail Autofold has the most space under the seat in the basket area because it looks like the seat sits a little bit higher. The brake on the Autofold is flip-flop friendly as seen here. The BB brake is not flip-flop friendly, but it's still easy to use. The wheels all measure at 6.5 inches in diameter, but have different widths. The Menu is the slimmest wheel at 1 inch, the BB is 1.5 inches, and the Autofold is 2 inches wide. The handlebar heights are as follows. Just a reminder, the menu has a large peekaboo mesh window in its canopy as well as an extra pullout for more coverage. I'm not a huge fan of that pullout because it's very flimsy and it doesn't stay put well. The Bombi has a small peekaboo mesh window and can zip out for extra sun coverage. The Larktail also has a small peekaboo mesh window and can zip out for extra sun coverage as well. Both the Larktail and the Bombi extended canopies provide more coverage than the menu. The Autofold has a 5-point harness and the seat measurements are as follows. It has an adjustable leg rest for comfort and this is the only one of the three compact strollers that have a locking front wheel mechanism for rougher terrain. The Bombi BB Stroller seat measurements are as follows. It also has an adjustable leg rest for comfort. The Minu does not have an adjustable leg rest like the other two compact strollers. The Larktail comes with a wrist strap and it reclines with a nice handle. You can unzip the sides for more airflow with the mesh window. To pull the seat back up, just pull the strap where the handle is and you can pull the seat up to its upright position. There is some storage behind the seat as well. The Bombi has a 5 point harness and to recline, there is a strap that you pull like most compact strollers have. There is a small zippered pocket in the area behind the seat for small items. To put the seat back up, you just pull the straps until the seat is back in its upright position. Here is an example of how each of the seats look in the reclined position. They all look pretty similar recline-wise. Each of the strollers fold with the same mechanism, which is to slide one of the fold buttons to the side and simultaneously push the other fold button and guide it downward into a tri-fold. Both the Bombi and the Larktail basically fold on their own after you guide the handle forward and begin the folding mechanism, and then they all can stand on their own. Here's how they look folded up. Also, here's the snack tray that comes with the Larktail, which I didn't have on earlier. Here are the measurements of each of them folded. Overall, while I loved the way the menu pushed and it was a great height for taller parents, because there was no bar to kick, 
The canopy left much to be desired and its retail price tag would definitely cause eyebrows to raise. The Bombi and the Larktail both push very well, even for taller parents like myself, and have so much more to offer with the canopy and the basket. The Larktail is the biggest of the three, but I feel is more versatile because I think larger kids would be able to fit in it well and the basket has more to offer as a compact stroller. Both the Larktail and the Bombi come with a cup holder, and for their price points, I would recommend getting them over the Upper Baby menu. They also both come with the belly bar, which the menu does not come with. It's an additional cost. Even the wheels are more robust on both strollers as the menu's wheels are the smallest of the three. So if you're looking for that menu feel, but not the menu price, please consider either one of these two alternatives. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Until next time!